those of us that have been through trauma or very difficult relationships or mental health struggles, we tend to develop this fundamental belief about ourselves as being people who are flawed or unlovable. And that fundamental belief tends to go on to color all our future relationships and our interactions with other people and even things in our day-to-day -day life that seem relatively mundane. So let me give you an example. Let's say I miss the bus one morning and I believe that I am truly unlovable and a very flawed person. I might believe that I missed the bus because I'm an idiot or because I am a screw up and I'll never get better at that stuff and I'm always gonna mess things up and how could I ruin my day like this? Whereas if I had the underlying kind of core belief that I am a lovable person and sure we all have flaws but I'm generally an okay person, I might have the belief of well, yeah, I missed the bus, but it's because I was preoccupied with something else. I have a lot going on in my life. It happens to the best of us sometimes. So, okay, you missed the bus either way, right? But you can see that interpreting it through a different lens or seeing it through a different set of core fundamental beliefs really changes the way that you view that situation and probably is going to change the way that that situation, missing the bus, affects the rest of your day. So fundamental core beliefs can be really difficult to change because they've, well, they've been with you for a long time and they're fundamental, but that doesn't mean it's impossible. And one thing that you can do to help change some of your core beliefs like this is to ask yourself in situations where you're feeling really sad or upset or challenged or you're having a lot of negative self-talk in that situation, you can ask yourself, what's the lens that I'm viewing this through? Am I viewing this through my core belief of being unlovable? If the answer is yes, then ask yourself, how would this situation look different if I viewed it through the lens of being lovable and being a fundamentally good person? What would that look like? So let's take the example of, you, you know, maybe you're expecting a text back from someone and they don't text you back. If you're looking at that through the lens of being unlovable, your thought process might be something along the lines of, well, they don't like me, or I must have screwed up the last time we were hanging out together. Maybe they don't want to hang out again. Maybe they don't care about me. Nobody ever likes me. Nobody wants to be with me. All of these thoughts are probably not accurate and they're definitely not helpful. So instead, you can ask yourself, if I was lovable, how would the situation look different? Maybe you would conclude that the person just forgot or they got busy, and that feels very different. 